Hope you enjoyed the sunshine and the warmth today. It starts to go away later tonight, but if you're running out to dinner like this little fella here, uh, you are still in luck. We have some dry conditions, a little sunshine left before we have the rain roll in later tonight. By the way, this is sent into our photo community by Brett Waddington. Beautiful shot there of that gorgeous fox uh, finding some dinner. So if you're running out to dinner tonight, have the rain jacket handy because the deeper we go into this evening, the more likely we see some rain. Next couple hours looking pretty dry. Late night, roughly 7, 8 o'clock, maybe some light showers coming through. And then after 10 o'clock, be ready for some storms. It's all coming in with this next weather system here. You can see a little light, drizzly rainfall trying to get going ahead of this warm front. But really, it'll be a couple hours before this weather system really starts to crank up that rain and eventually that thunder storm activity so uh, there might be a couple quick little raindrops that is about hit uh, it on uh, what's coming through on exact track right now when it comes to our severe storm outlook, yes, we do have a risk for some storms tonight. Uh, we may see that after about 10 o'clock. You can see that we set at a one out of five risk for severe weather, mainly for hail. So uh, that would really be the only threat we're looking at. And a one out of five risk means one, two, possibly two storms get up to severe strength. So pretty widely isolated over this green shaded area. But still, we want you watching the 13 Weather Authority app, staying up to speed, being uh, ready to take action just in case we do have those stronger storms come through. So here's future track again, a little light rainfall coming through right now, not likely to produce much besides just a few raindrops. And then we have the storms rolling in a little closer to 10 o'clock tonight. We get to around midnight. That's when some of these stronger storms are exiting after that on and off thunderstorm activity the rest of the night. And then we dry out tomorrow morning. Temperatures stay a little warm after the warmth today, only dropping into the mid 40s after a pretty rainy and stormy night. We get into the weekend, mainly cloudy, mild and dry for Saturday with high temperatures for a second day in a row approaching 60. Then we get into Easter Sunday. Be ready for some spotty rainfall over the course of the holidays. So as we turn back to future track, you can see that we'll have pretty widely hit or miss rain and a lot of it is taking place near and south of I-88. So if you're north of that interstate, you might end up looking at just a dry and cloudy afternoon. The deeper we go into Sunday evening, though, the more likely you'll see some rain showers. So adjust your plans accordingly for the weekend. More rain and storms are possible into early next week as we continue to cool off, maybe down into the 40s by the middle of the week. By that point, though, we're drying out and starting to heat back up. Lots of sunshine about a week from today and in your most accurate 10 day forecast. The weather may continue to warm up from there, trying to get back to 70. Gorgeous weekend by next weekend, uh, so I'll we'll have to keep an eye on that following Monday, too. That's the day of the eclipse, William.